Jim, I want to start investing in HMOs, but my head's absolutely spinning with all the legislation and the planning. Can you help explain it? Of course, pal. So in most major cities, there's a thing called Article 4. Like a newspaper? Uh, no, not like a newspaper. But this does get complicated, so I'll break it down. That would be brilliant. So in the UK, we have a use class system. Now, this just breaks down what every single property in the country is used for. Now, there's a big, massive, long list of these, but we're only really interested in two, which is C3 and C4. Now, C3 is what we just use for a standard property, like your house. Whereas C4 is for a HMO, Consisting of six or fewer people. Ah, okay. So I understand. So every property in the UK has one of these use classes. With C3 typically being the home where you live. And C4 being for HMOs consisting of six or fewer people. Now normally, when we go from C3 into C4, we use a thing called permitted development rights. Which we have the right to improve our home without any planning permission. Brilliant. So no planning for six bed HMOs then? Well, big lad, this is where Article 4 comes into it. Article 4 removes your permitted development rights. But you need planning to convert into a six bed HMO. Where are these articles? four areas then. At the moment, they tend to be in most big cities and areas with lots of HMOs. It's so local authorities can control how many HMOs are in the area. Ah, so HMOs aren't worth it anymore then. 100% incorrect. HMOs are still a brilliant strategy and we target areas outside of Article 4 to avoid any plan. So if you want to see how we do that, make sure you drop me a follow.